Hello and welcome to Judgment. So the demons are about to uh, hit me again. We see their uh, scouting party uh, right now. And I guess I gotta take them out. Everybody else is probably gonna stay back home. Yeah, I don't have a lot of uh, great guns anyway. So let's just go attack with our main team. Actually, I'm curious, how are we doing with the mellow armor? It's not done yet. <laughs> well, damn it. Also, we got some special Buru Jumbo item items, uh, but I don't really use them. Maybe those are the secret to uh, an easy game. Okay, June, Timmy, and Rich. Our better team, since uh, Timmy stopped doing nothing. So, where are these uh, bloody demons? Oh, okay, probably shouldn't do it on, on light speed. Oh, the possess needs to die. Okay, Rich took uh, quite a bit of damage. What? I wasn't that. Still someone left. One hellhound. And a succubus. Okay, not so bad. And it's clearly worth it if you're gonna get attacked uh, with a smaller force. Yeah, let's just scavenge. Wait a second, I told you to scavenge. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, that's an auto-resolve mission. Hopefully. I do uphold the right to, uh, perhaps, uh, just load if the auto-resolve mission goes terribly, because it should be like, yeah, like that's like a completely trivial fight. Oh, that's that's a lot of water. Wow. Okay, we got a trader. Two ghost and one possessed or one research material? That's easy. Okay, we got a trader. <clears throat> what does he have? Um increases the armor. Research mats, nail gun is kinda uh obsolete at this point. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I want any of his stuff. If anything, I would like to sell something. But it's not too relevant right now. And do I fast forward here? I don't know. That That's really good cover. If he can fight... Over there? That would be amazing. Probably not gonna happen though. There's just not enough cover in this game. It was this hard to hit, right? Yeah, we have low chance to hit it. Oh no. Are we gonna find the possessed at the same time? Not exactly the same time, but... Oh, Rich took some damage, and that's not great. Let's see what else we have. Um, two possessed, some stones. Still seems like a very easy mission over there. Wooden resin. What? Why is Rich taking so much damage? Uh, that's just a no-brainer mission.
Hopefully Reach stops taking damage, but uh, apparently that's not happening. Maybe I need to go back home. Okay, going back home, but that seems like a decent location to attack. It's easy enough. Anyway, let's see what's going on back home. Someone leveled up, uh, Bart, who's a scout, and currently his job is to, to do what exactly? Cut trees? Or quarry stone or clay? Uh, do I want to make him better at cutting trees? Shopping speed? But then he's gonna be my other collector guy. He's not the best fighter. It's not terrible. I already got a gatherer. Now, the thing is, I did uh, check out the research. And when the team comes back, we can go for the herb garden. But there's a possibility to make a rainwater collector uh, that collects water automatically, which really sounds like an amazing uh, deal. That saves. Yeah. You need to build a lot of these things, but like it's gonna pay off. Herb garden. Rainwater collector. I just need to get boards. And in order to do that, Bart is just gonna cut trees non-stop all the time. Yeah, that's what he's doing anyway, right? Yeah, maybe I need to select some trees to cut. I guess it's hard to cut trees if there are no trees selected. Uh, yeah, I just uh, select all the trees. And Bart, you can just uh, go ham. Just chop them all down. Wait a second. I have a lot of people selected for the cutting tree duty. Cruz, Stephanie, and June. And Bart. Sounds like a lot. Cruz. Stephanie. Okay, Timmy is mining. Do I need more beds? No, I have three beds. Currently three people are sleeping. What is what is going on here? Something is getting crafted, but we don't know what. Probably the Glock. One hundred sixty. Okay. Well, Rich needs to heal up. June is. I don't know. Getting better with pistols. Let's do that. So who's gonna be a crafter? Max health, max energy. It's not really a good fighter, but I suppose... What? Did I click on this? Seems like it... I didn't click on it. Seems like we have... We reached the time to go back to the shrine. Quarry speed. But am I really... Do I really care about clay? And stone and whatnot? And the thing is... We already got a guy. Cruz is responsible for that already. Pistols? I don't know. Ok, 
Okay, I got some boards, which is great, but I probably should, and I kind of want to concentrate on rainwater collectors. One is, is enough to quench the thirst of, of one survivor, so I'm gonna need a lot of these things. <laughs> Let's blow up that barricade. I don't think you can move it. Yeah, I don't think you can move it. You can move it, so I have to blow it up. I'm gonna need more bricks. I wouldn't mind going on a mission to get more bricks. Rich needs to heal up. Mellow armor. Yeah. I need more crafters. <clears throat> Dark clouds cover the night sky, and the soft glow of the moon breaches through what little sea. Little seams and holes it can find, illuminating with a weak, faint light, barely enough to see. A dark red comet streaks across the sky, coloring it in a dark crimson red color. In what appears to be no less than a witchcraft, the moon itself becomes red, its glow ominous. Demonic howls can be heard in the distance, these bad omens seem to give them unnatural strength. You search for an explanation for the red moon and its effects on demons. Your survivors discover an ancient manuscript mentioning a blood moon and an old religious ritual used to protect against it. After performing the ritual, the moon returns to its normal pale self, and the demonic howls immediately begin to wane. Things are back to normal. I got that. Okay. Sure. I don't know what to do with you, Bart. I don't care too much about quarrying at this point. And uh, we already got a gatherer. And you're not a good fighter. I need crafters, but... Damn. Yeah, just go ham to me. Also, I can go for uh, training areas. To train my fighters. Okay, wow! Rainwater collectors are done. Now, do they need to be emptied? Stone. Now, let's see how we're doing with stones. Ah, uh, that's clay. I kind of need some stones. The thing is, even if I go for quarrying speed, do I have enough in this location to make it worth it? I don't even know. I need more bricks. Bart, you wanna go on a mission? So who's our crafter? Should I have more crafters? Okay, let's see. Rich is a builder crafter right now. Yeah, Bart does that. After that, building. I guess crafting could be a thing as well. I really need to... Rituals move up crafting a little bit. Stephanie, can we just have someone who's not busy doing a damn thing? Maybe do some crafting? Uh, because that would be great. <clears throat> Cruz is still getting water. I'm doing with water at this point. 99 and considering that I have 10 survivors. Whoa, a lot of people are leveling up. So Rich is gonna get better with auto weapons. Tom is gonna become a farming genius. And Andrew 
is gonna be get better at occult research, and Bart is doing nothing. Pouring stone. Okay. Do I just take Bart? I don't know. Okay, I need to pick that one up. Research materials. I need to pick up one extra research materials. Uh, that would be nice to pick up as well. Damn. Okay. Bricks. I'm actually making some bricks at this point. Do I have any uh, limitation on stone? Like, uh, yeah, probably you shouldn't get more than 200 stone. After you already had have that. Clay, how about make the limit like 200? So once you have that, you probably... Oh crap, enemies approaching. Uh, wow. Well, we got a very more leather vest. How are we doing with food? 2.1 days. That's not great. 78 bread. 54 salad. 76 bread? That's two days. Oh. Two days worth? That seems... A bit extreme. Oh crap. Forgot to Forgot to fix it. Anyway, we need to go. Yeah, I guess we're ready. Approved. Oh, this is bad. They all gonna hit me at the same time. That's more like a bow. If I can have parts of uh, the strike team not getting injured. Uh, that might be a little bit greedy, but that would be ideal. my relationship improve okay I guess we need to save somebody now Bart you have no value over here so I guess uh, you're just gonna go and come on a mission with us clan and everybody else research research uh, fetching water and cutting wood, preparing sal salads and and yeah, no no no, you're you're about making food right, and making food, making food. Oh, these the occult research. Damn it, these guys look the same. I'm not sure what to make of Bart. You're gonna stay back home, Bart. Anyway. Why is Timmy never dying? I should have taken Bart on this mission. 
What what are you doing, Rich? Oh, that's that's a pretty damn dumb fight. Where's the cage? Oi, Demus! Where do you guys put the cage? Oh, we got it. Stephanie? Ah, uh, just go there. Engineer? <gasps> Is that what what it means? What I think it means? Welcome to the team, Lauren. Uh let's just go back home. Rescued! Uh everybody go back home. And let's see what Lauren can do. Lauren? You're a crafter, holy crap. Elitist. Elitist crafter and also perceptive. So that means you're really good at crafting. Probably not do any of the scientific research. That's that's the job of Armand. And Tom, you can be a farmer now. Okay, that looks good. Maybe chop trees first. Yeah, chop trees first. Uh, gland build. I guess building can be there. Crafting. Yeah, Lauren's gonna be a crafter. Holy. Yeah. She also levels up with those. Well, I suppose if there's nothing to done, to be done, uh, you can do those. However, I think she will be quite busy with the crafting. Uh, yeah. Glock? Maybe not. But wait, I have an extra Glock? I do! So... Bart is gonna use a pistol and go with the main team. I guess. Okay! Who's gonna use the extra Glock? Probably not Stephanie, because she is really good with bows. The Glock would be better now, but... Wait, how many Glocks I can make? I, I reached the maximum. Okay, let's keep making metal armors as well. Clan... Who is... Uh... Not important to have around... In this base. Lauren... Key guy. Bart... Who cares if he's gone? Andrew? Pretty important. Cruz? Uh, pretty important. Glenn? Yeah, this kind of makes sense. I think we just gotta go with a four-man team. Uh, let's see with the re... What can we do with the research? Yeah, I need to get some research mats. Let's wait for Stephanie to... Wait, eat? I guess, and uh, after this, we're gonna make Bart, part of the team, beggars. He's not the best. He's truly not the best, but hey, neither is uh, team beggars. Uh, let's see. So if I want uh, research materials, we can go there and start hitting that place. Question is, can I do that mission? I can investigate it. Hmm. Okay. Maybe go that way. Water, scrap, water and arrows. Damn. Can I make some water collectors? No. Bricks are not being made. 
Ah, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. I just thought to resolve it. Yeah, that's terrible loot. <laughs> oh, we can get some bricks. Oh yeah, hit Timmy. He likes it. Ah, that's useless. I could use some bricks. Four bricks? That's not a lot. Shopping center. Wow. That's some disappointing loot right there. <clears throat> I guess the only upside of this... Two Olympic bows. Uh, is that it doesn't take a long time to clean it out so we are doing it quite efficiently but damn this game has a lot of fighting what the hell team is getting wounded every single time like that was that makes no sense. How is he the one who's getting shot? Always. That makes no sense. Literally. Come on. Timmy got wounded again. The thing is, I might just have to send the team back home just because Timmy's wounded. How dumb is that? Oh, there's a... There's a city over there. Look at that. Timmy's almost dead. Nobody else got hit so far. Only Timmy. Ooh. Question is, what's gonna happen if uh, Timmy's so low? Is he gonna die? Or someone else is gonna take damage. No, that's fine. No one takes damage. Yeah, that's more like what I want. Some scraps. <sighs> I guess I can go back home and heal Timmy back up. Some ghosts, and bricks, and wool. Hmm. I'm not so sure if I trust the auto-resolve with this. I'm definitely guilty of uh, doing dumb strategies as well. Timmy, don't be in the front, okay? Timmy solo. Okay, who else we need to kill? Timmy, why are you running that way? Don't even do that. That's not how you do it, auto-resolve. Look at this. Now I got a useless team. Timmy needs to go back. I can't even send him back home by himself. Can I? Can I manage the team? Is there a way to uh, tell the auto-resolve to not prioritize Timmy every single time? I don't know. I just head back home. Maybe we can heal up Timmy. I do have some uh, medical supplies we can use. Anyway, let's see what's happening back home. We need some bricks.
Oh, it's coming along nicely. Nicely enough. Timmy? Can you go and... Heal Timmy? I'm not so sure how... What this is supposed to be. Oh, yeah. I can choose. How much... I'm gonna spend on Timmy. I can spend... 11. Oh. Right. That's gonna cost me 12. No, no, actually 13. We got a trader as well. Not you. Not you. Maybe you buy one. And Timmy by eight. What if I approve that? Okay, trader. Let's see what you got. Okay, metal armor. Let's sell some leather vests, leather jackets, arquebus. Uh, yeah, I hope to not use those anymore. Olympic bow. Really high sell value. Okay. It is true. It's better than the Arcubus. So, I guess we figured that one out. But, yeah, I made some money. But, you're selling me... Used to find a survivor in need of assistance? Really? That's interesting. You, so you can... I guess we're gonna buy that. That sounds interesting. Everything else? Screw it. We can also buy bread, but... No. So how is this gonna work? How do we use it? Used to find survivor in need of assistance. How do I use it? I can't use it myself. Apparently I can't tell anyone else to use it. Sounds like we may have got... Uh, Scammed. Well, I guess not the first time. Oh, look at that. Rainwater collector. Nice. I don't know if this needs to be close to me. But... It's not that close to me anyway, over here, so it doesn't really bother me. Spike barricade. Huh, this is gonna be awkward if uh, some long-ranged AoE monsters show up. <laughs> Hopefully not. Light and dark. Dark magic. Hellforge. Okay. Now that demon eye bow would be nice. Armin leveled up. That's crazy! This guy is just... What the hell? Dark weapons. Tech weapons. Now he already, he already has research. I don't think I'm gonna spend his point right now. How are we doing with water? Uh, quite, quite well actually. That's a lot of drinking water. So where is my favorite crafty man? Woman. 
Uh, preparing salads. You sure you're a crafter? I can move that stove over there. What? Night house? <clears throat> In the end of time, civilization is a thing of the past. Gone is the electric equipment that made life so much simpler. Gone are the lights that kept the streets a bit safer at night and that kept us from seeing the beautiful night stars next to a glowing moon. Some might find this to be a romantic experience were it not for the apocalypse, but it seems that Lauren has developed a special interest in the uh, night moon. What? Don't tell me that my... My cook slash crafter girl is a werewolf. This fascination was always apparent, but now it's different. Lauren can't sleep anymore. She walks around under the night sky, looking up at the moon. Its perfect roundness, the subtle glow of off-white light shining in the distance spurs an uncontrollable urge. She doesn't, <clears throat> she doesn't know where it came from, why or how. But it's there. The urge to howl. I just do it, but... You know, it's a bit weird. I'll, I'll give you that. It's a little bit weird. But as long as you do your job, I don't care. Like, I just so much don't care. And, and the fact that you stay up all night... That's a big bonus. Lauren howls at the moon. And what may have started as a ridiculous imitation of a wolf cub... Soon grows into a full-fledged blood-chilling howl. The howl echoes in the distance, bouncing off abandoned buildings and ruined hideouts. She eventually snaps out of it, but too late. The howl has attracted some unwanted attention. What? Anna is approaching. What the fuck, Lauren? I still forgive you. Damn it. They're coming my way. Yeah, Lauren. I really hope this is not gonna be a thing. You know what? You can howl all you want. We're just gonna lock you in the basement. With a cook stove. And a crafting table. Done. Prepare myself. What are you guys doing? No. Don't be a stupid dumbass. Approved. This is not the time to go back to work. Why are they so good at hitting me? Okay, Glenn got hit. Can you just go back? Can't even order him to go back. Please, Glenn. Please, run back. Okay. To this insatiable urge to. A howl will no doubt return, bringing further misfortune with it. You must find a way to deal with Lauren. Your lead occultist search for the reason behind the strange b behavior. Okay, that's that's nice. So, good thing we have some occult research saved up. Your occultist determined the source of this menace. It seems that Lauren is inflicted with the curse of the wolf. An ancient curse told to drive men and women insane, making them believe they are wolves. This curse can be cured, however. All you need is an actual wolf. More specifically, a werewolf. A small blood sample and a simple chant should remove this curse. The chant is easy to perform, but getting a blood sample will probably prove to be somewhat more difficult. You remember hearing strange howls in the distance. Surely it's a werewolf. Perhaps you could convince the werewolf to donate some <laughs> blood to a good cause by brute force. Oh, good jokes. Uh, so, is that it? Oh, that actually looks uh, fairly dangerous. 
rich is hungry. Grab the snack on the way, apparently. Good. Timmy. That's a lot of XP. Whoa! Attack speed. Interesting. Um. So, what do we have here? Am I supposed to take it back? Just to cure Lauren? Lauren, we got just a thing for you! Oh, crap. We got attacked! It wasn't really a tough fight, still. Uh, Lauren feels as it, if the weight of the world has been lifted off her shoulders, while the moon still shines bright and the stars still litter the night sky, the urge to howl is gone for good, perhaps on all levels. Lauren is no wolf, but a human being, eternally fascinated by the beauty of the night sky in a world desolated by the apocalypse. You feel mystical power emanating from the claws of the werewolf, and a form of pendant from it, perhaps it will assist you in your struggles. Didn't I find that already? Okay, maybe Rich should use that, attacks, wait a second, what is that? Oh, just attack speed, okay, fair enough. Let's see what's going on here. There is all... Oh. Yeah, we gotta craft a lot. I kinda need another crafter. The reason I moved the table... Because Lauren had to move quite a bit. Rich is crafting as well. Rainwater collector, sure. <sighs> Do I need research points? Not as much right now. So I can take Armand on a mission if I want to. We need to. I'm doing with food. Like, like I have a lot of food. Look at that. I kind of need more veggies, don't I? What do I need to make bread? Wood and wheat. Um. Okay. Not too hard. No, I'm, that, no, this is fine. Survive a body. That's nine. Wow, we got nine bodies. Damn. We have as many dead as uh, as many alive. So, okay. How do I use that? Do you have a weapon workshop already? Uh, that's that. I'm just checking. Yeah, herb garden. Actually, it seems like uh, one sheep farm is uh, plenty. 350 wood that I'm not using from one sheep farm. Yeah. Good thing that I didn't build more. Let's see how it's going with water. Um, it's not overrunning at this point, but yeah. 
it helps us uh, focus on other things. But yeah, crafting is the most important part. Anyhow. Now, the question is, uh, am I gonna take someone else from back home on a mission? Cold research. I, I know what we're gonna do with Tom. Maybe after this is finished, we're gonna get his crafting up as well. Yeah. And Lauren is just gonna stay back home. We might just take Armand on a run. Uh, yeah. Dark weapons. Crafting. Come on, Armand can only do one thing. I'm not gonna make him a crafter too. Or will I? I would rather uh, get one of his uh, weapon skill up as well. Perceptive. Look at this. Just... What? Either we go for dark weapons or tech weapons. It seems like dark weapons might be easier to pull off. Like the demonite bow. That's a dark weapon. But it's not relevant right now because I don't have access to it. Anyway guys, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching and see you next time.